Eastgate, Vegas. All right, we are here down here in downtown Las Vegas, um, down by Container Park behind me. I have this on uh, reverse, I don't know, selfie view or whatever, so I don't know if things are reversed or not, but we're gonna be riding up in, up in that area over there, and we're gonna be testing out this uh, Nano X remote today. And uh, I got all the stuff in the bag remotes and Bluetooth attached to me so uh, yeah and I got the GoPro I look like a actually like an idiot so but oh well it happens what are you gonna do all right so we got the net we are here in downtown Las Vegas I think you can see look at that and what we're gonna do is gonna take a ride on this on the board and see what's up we're here downtown Las Vegas now on Fremont Street we have the Nano X remote from uh, Jason and Inertia all the way from Australia and uh, a couple things I did notice the one thing I did notice really kind of uh, surprised me a little bit is that the uh, I don't know if I have to mess with the trim or whatever but uh, uh, the brakes are a lot less using this remote and it's pretty fierce in terms of it's pretty fierce in terms of uh acceleration so like from the get-go how you doing man <laughs> so, i'm talking in video tape. <laughs> so uh what we're doing is we're testing them out and uh you're riding around got no interference so far so got this thing going okay so the biggest the one thing I did notice right off the bat was the brake was a lot less but then again I'm using a car ESC and uh, I know on a Vesca you probably program the inputs a little bit A little bit better probably could play with the trim I noticed the uh, trim throttle on this uh, on this specific um, on this nano remote is not a regular dial it's a uh, it's actually a button so I don't know if it's actually working or not I actually don't have anything small enough to poke at it right now so since I'm on the road Yeah, the throttle is, the brake is definitely less on this actual remote. But I think it has to do with the trim. So that maybe that's something I need to fiddle with tomorrow and do another test. But for now, we're going to take it to a spot I kind of know drops out. And we're coming up on it right soon. There's a light up there. So far, pretty smooth, nice. The, the bigger thumb throttle is definitely a better thing to have. And here we are, we're in this area right here. I don't know if you can see it. This is uh, right in the middle of Fremont Street, right near Fort Queens Casino. And it drops out right here. And nothing's dropping out. I got remotes going, I got Bluetooth going. I got, uh, what else going? I got uh, other remotes going. So. It's got to angle this a little lower. Thanks. So far, nothing, nothing, nothing happening here. Which is a good thing. Right where I thought it was gonna go, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing, no miss, no miss throttle. All right, so we're gonna 
head back down again and go back up. Crossing Las Vegas Boulevard again. Find pins are at the top of the receiver. And channel two is the one below it. And channel one is the one that's on the bottom. So it's the exact same setup as the winning remote. All right, so now we have the Nano X remote. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how fast we can get on this thing because I feel like it's holding me back a little bit in terms of speed. And then we're gonna switch off to the uh, mini remote. So I'm just gonna hit as fast a speed as I can get. We got a full charge on this battery pretty much and uh, see how it goes. I'm at full throttle right now. And I'm going about, I got this about as fast as it goes. I can feel it right now. I got pinned down the throttle, pinned down all the way. So I got 16 miles an hour as my top speed. We're gonna go around. One lap, that's about as fast as I can go. So now we're going to switch off to the mini remote. Okay, so now we're going to switch off the remotes here. Okay, we're going to take this off. This is off. And we're going back to the mini remote. Okay, so we are back again. We are with the mini remote now. All right, let's see how fast we go. We had a top speed of 16 miles an hour last time on the board. Definitely feel more uh, throttle. Yep, here I'm hitting 20 miles an hour, 21, turning. Yeah, so I'm losing about three miles an hour, four miles an hour to uh, that remote for some reason. And I'm not sure if it's a trim or throttle, but yeah, it definitely is affecting the speed. I can feel it. So, all right, this is it. I'm going home. It's way too late. I don't know, conclusions, I don't know. Maybe not conclusions. Maybe it's more like to be continued. Um, no dropout signals from the remote, looks good. Um, nice big thumb throttle, nice and smooth. Um, definitely an improvement over the other, uh, the winning remote in terms of um, feel. And, um, you know, the feel in your hand and, and just, uh, and the way it looks, looks pretty freaking cool. Uh, the only downside I have currently is the uh, is the I don't know if it's the actual travel of the of the potentiometer of the throttle or if it's the how it's wired. I don't even know how it's you know how it's made, but definitely not getting um, you know the max out of the. Out of uh, throttle and brake. This is a beta version that uh, Jason uh, sent me, so uh, definitely not the final shape, I don't think, and the final PCB and the final components within the uh, within the uh, the remote. Again, I don't know if it's my settings or not, but again, I did a back-to-back -back with this mini room remote. I hit uh, 16 miles an hour on the uh, 
16 miles an hour on the uh, the Nano X and I hit 20 miles an hour on the mini remote so I lost about four miles an hour using the uh, Nano X again I don't know if it's the throttle or the trim or something but or the travel but uh, yeah not getting a hundred percent out of it so alrighty I think it's time to go home it really was a beautiful night morning to ride but I gotta catch a little bit of sleep before the kids wake up all right catch you later